And there's a whole whole idea in in this country, at least, the freedom to set up your own businesses, and it's I'm really lucky to be able to do that here. But people's idea of street music should be just that. It's a small business and it's you know, the the musician isn't somebody who's down and out. Maybe they're doing this because it's forwarding anything they're doing, you know, it's a it's a positive thing. I got asked with my group, Mecca Bodega, to do the soundtrack for an HBO movie. I ended up meeting Spike Lee, doing recording sessions with Public Enemy and, and Branford Marsalis and all this stuff, so there's so many positive things that happen, it's worth doing. I've been doing this for about 15 years, so it's definitely been a good thing for me. Usually something happens uh, really interesting every single time I, when I do it. Really, in general, the, the police have been pretty um, supportive and open with it, but I, I did have some problems with a, a lieutenant one time followed me around. <laughs> he, said, he told me he, that uh, he had my business card on his dresser at home, and when he woke up in the morning, he said, I'm going to get him. <laughs> so. Luckily, I had a, a, another policeman who I knew and actually bought my CDs and was friendly, wanted me to play at his wedding, and he knew this lieutenant from uh, working underneath him previously, and he kind of called him off. <laughs> yeah, it was problematic for a while. <laughs> Israel, as I said before, and, and Holland, Amsterdam, all over Europe, all over the place. It's been going on since the beginning of human beings, basically. They even have seen cave paintings that explain <laughs> that that was going on. So it's it's something that that is going to continue with human beings, and it's going to go all over. And whether anyone, whatever government or whatever anything regulations is going to try to stop it, it it's not going to stop. Mm -hmm. 